it's hot. To cool down, we're gonna be making halo halo. Halo halo means mix mix, and it's a shave ice dessert from the Philippines filled with a jumble of sweet, sweet goodies. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you don't miss the notifications of the weekly videos I create on this channel. And hit that like button too if you love dessert. First things first, let's talk about what goes inside a halo halo. And that's really anything that goes well inside a sweet dessert dish. But typically, you'll see ingredients like these. So most of these ingredients you can find at your local Filipino or Asian grocery store or online. So I'll go ahead and put some links in the description below if I find some. So that's just a few of the ingredients that we're gonna be putting in our halo halo. Watch the rest of this video to see all the other goodies that we're gonna be putting in. So to make shave ice at home, what I'll be using is this huge ice grinder. So I actually borrowed this from my parents, but this thing is pretty high powered. We use this for like bigger family parties. So when a bunch of people come over and everyone wants halo halo and you need shave ice fast, this thing is what we use. Okay, so I'm gonna put some ice in here. There's a piggy ice that we have. There's a donut ice, and then there's a the boring little ice. So look, you can actually put a lot in here. Whoa! Okay, it's a little messy, but look at how fine that ice is. It's like snow. Now we're ready to start building our halo halo. Let's start by building a more traditional halo halo. Let's call her tropical cream. So first things first, we're gonna add my favorite, which is the sweet red beans. Next, I'm gonna put in the coconut gel, nata de coco. And then I'm gonna put in some sweet bananas. So these are the type that you steam and it gets super sweet. Then I'm gonna put in the green palm nut, the sweet coconut sports string, makapuno. And then we can put on the ice. Push that in there so you can fit some more and then drizzle the evaporated milk. Ooh. And then you typically see Filipino ice cream on top. Typically, they use ube. And then I'm gonna put in some boba. Typically, we use sago, but the boba gives a similar texture. And then we can add a little drizzle of condensed milk. And then we're gonna top it off with pinipig. Pinipig are these immature grains of glutinous rice that have been pounded flat. Just dry toast them in a pan, let them cool, and then use them as a crunchy topping. I'm gonna put some flan on top. So this is some homemade leche flan that I made. Oh my goodness, it's overflowing. Ta-da! And there's our traditional halo halo. You might wanna mix that up quick because it's starting to melt. Told you it was hot in here. Oh my gosh, before I forget, you guys, I just created a new digital bread baking cookbook. I put a link in the description below. What's inside is bread baking recipes. So you've got some classic Filipino breads, but I also developed some recipes that are unique and you will not find these anywhere else. So if you're interested, check it out in the description below. You guys, you gotta watch out for this next one because he looks like he's up to no good. We're gonna be making super villain halo halo. You ever notice that when there's characters that are both purple and green, they have a higher likelihood of being a super villain. You got the Joker, the Riddler, Green Goblin, Barney. So for this hala hala, I'm just gonna whip up a really quick version of buko pandan. And buko pandan is a coconut pandan dessert from the Philippines. Combine one cup of coconut milk, one third cup of the sweet coconut strings, one third cup of the sugar palm fruit, one third cup of coconut jelly, and one cup of green jello. I just made gelatin and put pandan extract in it. Then I use two tablespoons of condensed milk and one teaspoon of pandan extract. Mix it up and there is your quick buko pandan salad. So on one side, I will add the ube halaya or ube jam. You can buy this ube halaya at the store or I have a whole recipe video on how to make this which is in the description below. And then on the other side, I'm gonna pile in the buko pandan that I made. Now we can take off the foil divider. There you go. I'm just gonna wipe this so it looks a little pretty. And then we top it off with our ice. Evaporated milk. Ube ice cream. 
If you can't find pandan ice cream, you can just take vanilla ice cream and mix in some pandan extract. Flan! And some of the green bini big. This one looks a little more Joaquin Phoenix than Heath Ledger. I don't know, what do you think? The next one transports you to the Caribbean and it's a little boozy. We're having a corny island party! Making the rum coconut milk is super easy. Cook one can of coconut milk, two shots of rum, and one tablespoon of sugar over low heat for 15 minutes. Stirring every few minutes. Let it fully cool before pouring it all over the halo halo. If you're trying to avoid alcohol, don't make this one. So we'll start with sweet, sweet corn. Some more of the sweet coconut strings. Some pineapple that's been chopped up into little pieces. We're gonna put more bananas in this one because it's the tropical one. A little bit of the coconut gel. Then we're gonna top it with ice. And then we top it with our boozy coconut rum. Ooh, oh, that's thick. Ooh, messy. And then we're just gonna top it off with some of the ingredients that we put inside. So here's a banana. Here's a couple slices of pineapple. A sprinkle of the corn. Then we're just gonna top this one with the vanilla ice cream. We're gonna dust it with a little bit of cinnamon. And then finally, something crunchy, you guessed it, Bini Big. Here's a corny island party. And finally, for those of you who want to stick to the classics, don't worry, I got something for you. We're gonna be making Sticky Chocolate Crunch. So the highlight here is the chocolate sticky rice. And you know what goes really well with sticky rice? Red bean. And then we're gonna put in the chocolate sticky rice porridge. The chocolate sticky rice is called champorado, and I also have a recipe video on that in the description below. And then we're gonna put in some of the sweet coconut strings, top it with ice, and then we're gonna put in some chocolate milk. Guess what ice cream we're gonna put on top? Guess, guess, guess. You got it, chocolate. Specifically, chocolate Rocky Road. And we'll give this one some flan as well. And just make it extra decadent. Just when we thought we couldn't get any more indulgent, we'll put a drizzle of condensed milk. We're gonna finish it off with crushed almonds. Yummy. Oh, that's it, we're done. Tell me in the comments below, which one would you make at home? Find somebody to share this with because it's kind of a lot to eat on your own. Oh, before you leave, make sure you check out that exclusive Janelle Eats cookbook. It's in the description below. Okay, I'll let you go. Just remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell and smash that like button if you want me to make more recipes like these in like all these multiple ways. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye! I want the super villain. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want the super villain too. Yeah, mix it, mix it. I'm trying. Mix it. I'm civilized. Oh my god, it's so messy. There's banana. I love all of these though. I think this is my favorite. Yeah? No.